work for a large uh, consulting company. I'm a pre-sales architect around System Center, uh, specifically uh, configuration manager. Yeah, so we have we have one customer that um, had 770 distribution points in a pulled configuration, which made uh, you know the management of that infrastructure a nightmare. Also caused a lot of content issues. So whenever they would make a change to a task sequence package, to get that content all synchronized out to the 770 different locations was a complete nightmare. So they would have issues with task sequences waiting for that content, that dependency uh, content to come down before they were even able to resume uh, imaging. Yeah, we were able to eliminate 770 servers, but also uh, with that is we didn't have to worry about content getting down uh, efficiently down to those different sites. It just, it happened automatically. There was nothing that we had to do to even have to configure that type of stuff um, from happening down there. It was horrible, right? So anytime that you have a DP have a, um, uh, a red status or something like that, you would actually have to go and troubleshoot that. Then you'd have content issues. So you'd have content mismatch. So you'd have to try to figure out what was going on. You'd have to repush content. Um, there's just all sorts of management issues with that. Even the server, maintaining that specific server uh, was another thing that we had to deal with. So to use one site to just kind of set it and forget it on that content uh, was just a huge uh, you know, administration efficiency play. Yeah, so I also did some work for a construction company that had uh, many different uh, job sites across the country. And one of the issues with uh, configuration manager without one site is the configuration of bandwidth throttling with bits, especially if there's no content or no distribution point at these uh, remote sites. You'd really have to do a lot with the throttling. And even getting content down to, let's say, 20 or 30 agents, even without a distribution point, you have to really manage that content. And a lot of times, you, you err on the side of uh, uh, less bandwidth, right? You don't want to overdo it. So with one site, what we're able to do is, I don't have to mess with any of that stuff, right? So I just go in, again, it, it, it can do the WAN optimization automatically for me. I don't have to, me I don't have to manage that. And you're getting content down there faster than you would if you're if you're uh, trying to uh, I guess if you're trying to actually make those modifications yourself with okay I only want to use 100k per second and that spreads across all the clients with one site it'll use 100 it'll use 10 it'll use 500 whatever the bandwidth it, it has remaining it'll take that up. No, so I've I've distributed even on a, a small DSL line or bonded T1 line uh, a 4.7 gig AutoCAD install file, and the users of the site never once felt the impact of trying to push that content down to that remote site. No, you don't even have to mess with any of that stuff. It literally takes. Whatever, you, whatever it has remaining, it literally takes that up so you can get that content down very quickly, as quick as possible, right? We needed to get that AutoCAD stuff pushed out, so we put it during the day. I don't have to schedule it at five o'clock at night. Windows updates, same thing. I'm pushing out updates, the content of those updates at any point during the day. I don't, I don't even have to think about it. I just do it. So users never see any impact um, of, of one site in general, right? So they don't see less disk space. They don't really see their hard drive working, you know, that's slowing them, slowing them down in terms of performance. They really have no clue that their machine is being used as a, as a file share. Did I, did I even have to do that? <laughs> I don't even know if I really set it up. So there's nothing, there's, there's no real administration that I had to do to, to get that set up properly. 
No, one site does all the maintenance for me. I think it was like two clicks, maybe. No, that's the best thing about one site is you don't have to do any of that network configuration. It's all software based. I don't even have to get the networking people involved. I don't have to get the, the people that administer DHCP involved. I just, I just install the client and configure one site to do it. There's, again, there's not much. I'm, I'm dragging and dropping packages over. I specify how many machines I want at any particular site to have that pre-stage content. And I think I'm dragging over a collection or two uh, to do that. They go, they go fast because everything's local, right? So we're pre-staging all the task sequence content down to, uh, and I think our settings, we were doing about five. We were pre-staging to five machines at remote sites. So the content is as fast as your local network uh, getting down to the machine. So we really had no, no issues with that. But I mean, there's really nothing that I have to do again. I just specify collections. I specify the, the task sequence that I want pre-staged and it includes all my dependencies out of that task sequence to pre-stage. So there's no, there's no issues with a dependency package was not found or a dependency application was not found. It's always taken care of through one site. I don't have to do any, I don't have to do anything to update and sync. Uh, one site pretty much takes care of all of it for me. Yeah, so support's great. I, I called I called support. They took over the machine. We looked at the logs together, and just an overall good experience.